everybody. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. This is our uh, segment hosting on Craft Round the Clock. So we want to welcome you here. My name is Robin and behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband, Bill. And we work together as a team most of the time. And we are coming to you from just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. And so welcome. If you are if you are hopping on, please say hello so we know you're there. I'm going to take just a moment to pull this up on my phone. We, um, we have kind of uh, redone things here, and so I don't have an actual monitor, so I'm kind of flying blind. Hello, Patty. Hi, Leanna. So I am really depending on my phone, so I'll try, not, I'll try to ignore it for the most part. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, you know the what to do. These things help out um, Facebook designers. Um, don't cost you anything, and it really helps us out. So if you could love our page or like our page, uh, follow our page, uh, sprinkle it out to your page, to craft groups you might belong to, that would be awesome. That really helps us out. And we do have our stars activated. We appreciate any support that you give us monetarily or not anyway welcome welcome if you are watching and there's a red box up top that says live you're watching us live and if it's not there you're watching the replay we'd love it if you would comment hashtag replay and so we know when you are watching so a little bit of a backstory uh last week in craft around the clock they had a theme week and it was grocery store trash to treasure and, you know, we, we knew about it weeks in advance. I had a project all planned. And the night before, I came down so sick with, you know. Anyway, so I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to present that, that project to you. So I'm doing it now, a week late. So I hope you enjoy it. And I hope nobody already did it. I wasn't watching too much last week. I was, I was sleeping a lot. Anyway, good news. I only had one line on my test this morning, so that's just great. So, hi, Graceful Barn. Hello, Tiffany. Welcome. I see some people watching. Okay, awesome. Let's get started. We are going to do a project that uses old glass jars or actually any type of glass thing. So I, gra I grabbed a couple that I had laying around that I got at the grocery store because the theme was grocery store trash to treasure. But it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be grocery store items. I've got, I've got a, in fact, we're gonna do this project today. This is just a glass jar from the Dollar Tree. And how many of you, you have to, you'll have to comment, how many of you have seen or drooled over mercury glass in antique stores or thrift stores. So let me know, what do you know about? Graceful Barn says she's followed. Awesome, thank you, Graceful Barn. I would love to know your real name. Maybe it's Grace. I'll call you Grace until I hear otherwise. <laughs> okay, so tell me what you know about mercury glass. Mercury glass is, I didn't do a whole lot of research on it. It is a art technique from days past, and it's it was originally, I believe, used with silver, and it's it's putting silver in between glass layers, and it kind of makes a mirrored effect. And somehow, it turned into mercury that they used. Well, we know mercury is not safe to use anymore, but the look is kind of like a mirror, but it's it's mottled. You, you can't look at it and, and really see a clear image of you like a like a true mirror. So it's kind of modeled and it's a really pretty effect. So we are going to, because we're not going to spend the money that those antique stores want, I'm going to show you how you can you you can do the modeled effect, the mercury effect, mercury glass effect, COVID brain, Shh, don't tell anybody. Anyway, how you can how you can create that for yourself, and I'm looking to see um, who all. Mary Hi, Mary Naus. Welcome. Barn. Thank you. Melissa is graceful, Barn. Mm. Well, welcome, Melissa. Welcome, everybody. Thanks she, for popping on. Uh, 
something called It's Gravy Baby podcast. Oh. <laughs> and she does Pinterest and she does a few different things. Oh, there. you are are you um are you spying? <laughs> I think Bill's spying on you. Shh, don't tell anybody. Facebook spying. Anyway, what you will need. The main ingredient is this stuff right here. This is looking glass or there's also another brand. Ooh, I'm making a mess. There's one by Krylon, there's one by Rust-Oleum, but it's either looking glass or mirror effect. And I'm going to be using silver because mercury is, is kind of silver. And we're going to use this spray paint. It's a little pricey as compared to spray paint. And let's see, I got this at Home Depot and it was like $15. And I got this on Amazon and it was only $11. So I put a link in, if, if you comment Mercury, it will send you a link and you will, you'll get the link to the uh, Amazon link to this. So save you a few bucks. It's not a huge can, it's a six ounce can, but pretty important. It's like a mirror silver spray paint. Okay. You're also going to need some white vinegar and water. And you're going to mix that up and you're going to put it in a misting bottle. It's best if you use a misting bottle, not just a spray bottle, because spray bottles sometimes will just shoot out a, a stream and that, that will kind of ruin the effect. So you want something that kind of is a mister. I think I got this. I got this at Walmart, continuous spray bottle. I got it over in the section where they have curling irons and hair accessories. Um, not over by where I thought you'd get it, you know, like we're ironing and laundry and all of that. So a, a misting bottle, or I have, I have my one that I sell in my shop. And let's see, you'll also probably want some alcohol to clean up your glass. And you may or may not want some nail, some acetone to clean up any paint spray. This is from Dollar Tree. It's nail polish remover. You just make sure it is 100% acetone. So let's get to work. Now, some of this is going to be do as I say, not as I do. Because with spray paint, you really should be outside. Um, but I'm not gonna go outside. So. So I'm well, going to highly ventilated in I'm, here anyway. Yeah, we've got we've doors got the open, doors open. We've got some airflow and as soon as we're done, we are going to leave this room and let it air out. So I promise I'm I'm being semi safe, but I'm telling you, make sure you do this outside. So I'm going to use this bottle here, this jar, and you can or you don't have to kind of seal it up. So you don't get overspray, but it's not a big deal if you do because you can clean it up with acetone. So I'm get, I just have some plastic wrap and I'm going to just kind of wrap this up. Sue says hello, it's the first time walking. Hi, welcome Sue. Okay, so I'm going to I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna worry too much about getting this down. I could use painter's tape, it's just not all that crucial. If you're okay with a little overspray that you can clean up later, then this will do. Okay. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to get a cotton ball and some alcohol, which I have, I have just stuck this in a spray bottle. And I'm just going to clean out the inside of this. So it's, I want my, I want my spray paint to adhere really well. Just clean that out with some alcohol and I want to make sure that's dry so I'm going to just give it a shot with my dryer here now this is a uh, this is a an embossing gun so it gets pretty hot so be careful okay. and make sure that's dry okay so next I'm going to have my vinegar and water sprayer at 50 50 and I'm going to have my paint ready so I'm going to shake this up hopefully that noise doesn't annoy you too much I, I, I shook it I shook it quite a bit already so it should be good but give it a good shake 
And I'm going to put on a glove just... She says, she says, she says I love mercury glass. Never, never thought to make no. it. No, and honestly, I've seen it for... I've seen people do it with um, Christmas ornaments. So maybe a little closer to Christmas time, I'll do some... I'll come back on and do some ornaments. Set those aside. And I do have... I do have a box that I'm going to use to kind of spray into so that I don't get spray all over. And I'm not going to put a glove on this hand because I'm just going to use I'm just going to use this paint. Now, I'm going to give it a quick spray. And what I have learned is if you spray too much, it's going to run and drip. You don't want that. So you want multiple thin, thin, thin layers. And as soon as you spray it, before it dries, you want to hit it with the vinegar water mist. And that will kind of bubble it up and give it that mottled effect. So I need to be making sure. Am I missing any comments? You already said hello to Sue. I say hello to Sue. Lots of people watching. Okay, so are we ready to go? We want all our supplies ready. And you know what, this thing, this is one of those things that you have to use a screwdriver. I don't have a screwdriver, so I'm just going to use Sue it. says I do have a lot of Christmas ornaments made to look like more Awesome. Christmas. So, now, I could do this on the outside, but I want to do it on the inside, because that will give it a super, super shiny effect. So I'm spraying the inside of this. Now that means I can't ever use this again for food because it won't be food safe, but I can use it for things or candles. Okay, so I've got my spray. I'm gonna make sure it's pointing in the correct direction. I'm going to, I'm gonna lift that up like that. So I don't know, hopefully you can see this. And I'm just gonna give it a light spray and then I'm gonna switch over to my vinegar water. Okay, whoo! It comes out pretty fast, and I'm trying to avoid those drips, and I'm not doing a super good job of avoiding the drips. And now I'm going to vinegar water spray in there. And <laughs> it is kind of drippy, and that's okay. And now I'm going to take my dryer, and I'm going to dry up. Now the paint is going to dry really, really quick. It's that vinegar and water that's going to take a while to dry. I've got one little layer on. It doesn't show super, super well yet, but we're going to do like three or four or maybe even five layers. It, it kind of gets um, it kind of gets matte finish when it's done and but that vinegar water is taking its time to dry so I'm just going to take a little paper towel and absorb that up now that the paint kind of repels that vinegar water so that's what gives it that little mottled I don't know a better term to, to say mottled effect Okay, so I'm going to repeat that process. So I'm testing. Yep, that is dry. I'm going to, again, really, really light coats because if, it's, if it drips, it's going to look a little drippy. You don't want it to look drippy. So just, whoops. Splash and paint by Deborah. It says hello. Hey, Deborah. Welcome. And vinegar and water mist inside there. And we're gonna give it a dry again. We're just building up some layers. Done this. Has anybody done made their own DIY mercury glass? We're actually going to do another project, too, if I have the time. Not 
The paint is dry. So I'm going to go over the top. See if you can show them what it's looking like so far. Okay. So I'm not sure if uh, I don't know. I can, because I can't see. I don't have a monitor. Okay, let me let me soak up some of that vinegar water. Because it, it doesn't want to dry super, super fast. Deborah says, no, she's this is new. And Patty... Patty never had? Okay, Patty good. I had. love that I can give you something new. So, so I don't know if you can start to see... And again, I can't. You're you're right under the middle. Okay. Turn it on its side now, so. It okay. Well, better. it's got it's covered in plastic, so right. you can't really. Can't really see much. Can't really yet. see too much yet. But it's starting to take on a little mirror. You you kind of can't see my fingers too well through it. Okay, so let's try one more. So let me see. Okay, my paint. So. Uh, Splash of Paint by Deborah says she does online painting tutorials. Oh, and cool. Gifts and stuff like that. That sounds like fun. That's good. Like, um, like oil painting type? I don't I didn't, I didn't go that far into it. I was just looking at who she was because we haven't met yet. Okay, you are, you are spying. On, my husband is a Facebook stalker. <laughs> okay, well, so I was just seeing if there's a way we could encourage people to follow, yeah. but I don't yes. see a follow button there. So. Okay, well, yeah, anybody who comments and they comment with their business page, Go visit them. Yeah. After you're done watching me, <laughs> go back through the comments later and check we them back, out. I, I, we went back and followed Grateful Barn. Okay. And, um, okay. So another again, really light. Because too much, and it will drip, and we don't want that. And then I'm spraying it with. My mixture of 50-50 vinegar water that repels some of the some of the paint. Oh great. Okay. And acrylic. Oh, you're also on craft on the clock. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for following if you are. Again, I'm mostly doing this to dry that vinegar water mixture. Is it when you mist it on, it, it makes these little tiny dots. The spray paint dries really fast, but the vinegar water takes a, takes a hot minute to dry. Okay, so let's see. Let me take let me take off the plastic. Now I might want to do a few more layers. Oh, that's warm. Okay. I might want to do a few more layers of paint. And then again, I might not. So can you see? Are we overhead? Yep, overhead. Can you see? Oh, that's looking nice. Okay. It's I know it's in a, person it shows up a little better, but that modeling yes. where it has that uh -huh. not perfect finish on it. Okay. So, isn't really showing on the uh, screen. Okay, but. so let me show. Yeah, because it is it is not a, I mean, I can't look in it and see myself other than the reflection in the glass, but it's not truly a mirror. Let me show you. What I was thinking about doing is putting in candles. And so just to kind of show you, I'm just going to stick that in. Can you, does that show up? It does. Would it, it help? A if little I, bit. We've got the studio lights are also. Yeah, maybe, maybe dim that. those. So that that's the effect. Let's go to the front and see if it'll show that way. Okay. Yeah, the studio lights are still fighting it. Okay. That's all right. Anyway, this is really cool in natural light. We've got all our our bright lights on. So that is that is basically how to do mercury glass. Now this will get this could get scratched up. It's not a super um, durable paint. So what I would recommend, and a couple of recommendations, um, some people like the really aged mercury glass. Hey, welcome, Brian. Hi, I'm, I'm Bill. <laughs> he doesn't know you're there. Um, the really aged mercury glass kind of takes on a golden hue. So what you could do at this point is spray another light layer of gold metallic. I think I have some here. 
some gold metallic, just plain spray paint, and that will kind of show some gold through here. And then when you're, when you're completely done with your effect, you wanna spray it with a clear coat, either matte or gloss, doesn't really matter. That's just to protect that surface. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zap it with a little bit of gold to just kind of see what that, show you what that looks like. So you're mostly silver, but where there are splotchy, you will have, you'll have a gold, a golden hue. So let's, Ooh, pretty pretty so it kind of it's kind of a an aged silver don't know if you I don't know if you can I don't know how well that picks up but just an option you don't have to do that okay. that kind of gives it a different look and then you're going to want to spray it with clear now I'm going to let that dry for a while before I spray it okay so project one next one I've wanted, I wanted to do this. I've got, again, it's not grocery store trash to treasure, but I got the, I probably got it at Walmart. I might have even gotten this at a thrift stop, thrift shop. But it's just a glass pumpkin. And I thought this would look gorgeous with the mercury glass look. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some mercury glass. We're gonna do the inside, we're gonna do the top. I don't really use this for food. And again, once I've done this, I'm not going to want to use it for food. And thanks, thanks, Patty. Okay. My, my comment watcher is outside conferring. Okay, I don't think I've missed too many comments. So we are going to, we're gonna do this. And I'm not, I'm not gonna wrap it up because I'm gonna, I'm okay with cleaning it up with acetone afterwards. So again, we're gonna do this in several light coats. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with the lid. And again, I'm gonna spray it with my, this is 50-50 white vinegar and water in a misting bottle. So I'm going to give this a cup, just a little bit, because I don't want it to drip. And then I'm going to spray it with vinegar water. And then I'm going to dry it a bit. And then we'll do the inside. around the house that you could use this effect on. Now I've also seen some people who take like a crumpled up uh, paper towel or a crumpled up piece of plastic and kind of dab at it to make it even more mottled. So that's an idea for you. So tell me, oh I'm getting some hearts and some loves. Idea that I would have used in my classroom. Um, so you know how you put the um, the the. Um, you can kind of see it starting. It's still kind of see through, but that's just the first coat. So let me that set that aside. Around the edge, when you put in that, when you put in that, um, the clear cover. Uh huh. So you're putting saran wrap or whatever that plastic wrap over mm -hmm. it. You could around that edge just put on Vaseline or something okay. like that around Good the idea. edge. Okay. Even coat it in soap would work. Okay. And I'm going to, I kind of want, because this is kind of a curved surface, I'm going to kind of put my spray can in there because I want to get all of it. But again, not too much or it will run. So I'm going to kind of start. Okay. Before it starts to run, vinegar, water, mist. That's going to look good. Oops, and good. it's running. That's all right. We'll keep covering it up. 
the more coats, the less that those drips will show. Did anybody think of something they could do this on other than, of course, you've got some jars hanging around. Has anybody, does anybody have an idea of what you would do? I've got one other project that I finished that I'm going to show you in a moment. Maybe a minute. Layers of this. So I'm seeing a lot of people just popping on right now. Um, hey, Cindy. Now I want you to go back. Uh, if you miss something, you can always go back, yep. click on the link. And, and I'm, still, I'm still kind of showing the process, and you just do it over and over and over. Cindy. How do you do, Cindy? Okay, and again, that vinegar water doesn't want to dry as fast as the paint, so I'm just dabbing it up. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to do another layer on the lid. So again, this is Looking Glass Silver, or you can use, this is Krylon brand, or um, Rust-Oleum also has one called Mirror Finish. I think you could probably do a, a chrome silver, but I don't know if it would work quite as well. Okay, so very, very light coat. Too much paint or too much of this and it's going to, it's going to run, which we don't want. So, and this is 50, oops, 50, 50 vinegar and water which kind of repels that paint and gives it that mottled look. And again, you should not be painting indoors like we are doing. But we're only doing it because our setup is indoors. And we wanted to show you. So if you do this, do it outside or wear respiratory PPE. So it's starting to show up a little more. Can you see? Is that showing? Am I forward or am I uh, up? Overhead. Overhead? Can you kind of see? This is this is the part you won't really see. You'll really see this top part. Can you see how it's starting to mirror right up? There. So Patty has can... said, could you do the bottom of a glass tray so you could still use it? Yes. In fact, that's the project I'm going to show you. Let me let me give this another coat. Okay, and again, really, really light, too much paint, and it's going to drip. And that's going to not look good. Okay, so I got the paint and a misting bottle with vinegar and water. Yeah, and, then, and you can let it air dry, but time is of the essence, so we aren't going to let it air dry. inside a um, Christmas ornament without it running and smearing. So I'll be doing some practice and I'll be doing some research and I'll come back and we will do some Christmas ornaments. Okay, so let me show you, let that finish drying. Let me show you this is something, this is a dollar store plate, and this is the back, and I did the mirror 
um, the mercury glass effect on the back and then I actually spray painted it with some clear but this is what this is what are we overhead or are we front hello are we overhead or front I'm sorry I was trying to respond uh, to somebody are we overhead or front overhead okay so here's I have this etched one of my transfers I etched on there and then back behind it can you see that mercury glass so that is just gorgeous. Now this is completely usable for food because all of the paint is on the back. So that's a, that's a cool option that you could try. Okay, let's see, let's do, okay, let's do another coat and then we will call it good on this. And then I'm gonna do one other thing to show you the versatility you might, you might have. Okay, and again, light, 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 light coats because we don't want it to run. Vinegar and water to give us that mottled look. Sue says loves it. Thank Daddy you. says they love it. And again, before you finish, you need to give it a coat of uh, clear spray, just because this isn't super, super durable, and it's, uh, it's, you're putting it on glass, so it's going to be really easy to scrape off on accident. So you're going to want to seal it with a clear coat of spray. So here's, here's how it's looking now. I wish you could see it up close and in person. Over. Okay, maybe if I get up closer. Can you kind of see how that modeled, it's showing modeled is looking? Anyway, so pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's give this inside one more coat. Now you could, you might need to do this according to your taste you might need to do this five or six times but you're using very little spray paint because whoops you don't want to spray the outside that's why i told you to have some uh acetone to clean that up or or paint thinner this is kind of hard to tell where it's going to spray from okay so just light light bursts I'm trying to get up into that top. Um, Sue wanted to know, do we have video on showing how we do the etching? And I, I do. I respond that we have it on our YouTube page and on Facebook. I do have the etch, the glass etching, but I can I can show you. I can show you how it's done, but not use the actual product. In just a moment. Okay, so we're going to give this a quick dry. I do have a couple little runs, but that's okay. It's not completely dry, but we're going to let that dry on its own. But take a look, and I'm going to be very careful because I don't have a clear coat yet. But look at that. I like that. Oh, I can't see myself in there. Am I overhead or forward? We're forward right now. Okay, look at that. Is that not awesome? Okay, let's go overhead now. Okay, can you see? It's, it's not a super smooth mirror finish. It's that mottled look of mercury glass. Anyway, yay, that turned out. Okay, so let me show you one other thing. Yeah, one question before yes. you do that. What if I wanted to put goodies in that? I would recommend not. 
Um, food goodies. I'm food goodies. I wouldn't yeah. put food goodies in there. If you did, if you wanted to do it like for a gift, I might put it inside a baggie or something. Uh, but I wouldn't put food up against spray paint um, unless you can find like a food grade, uh, food grade spray paint. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put food in it unless it was sealed like in plastic. So just just a plan. Okay, so. Here's here's a, a little project I did earlier, just on a this was a ranch dip jar. So let me show you. I'm gonna pull out one of my transfers. This is uh, one of our new one. It's it's for the pieces of our autumn tiered tray. But I'm going to, and this is how I got that etching on there. I used one of our transfers, and I think I'm going to use pumpkin kisses. Oh no, that one's a little too tall. I'm gonna do leaves are falling, autumn is calling. So I've got this cut apart. So I'm gonna take my sticky, my sticky transfer. This is a silk screen. And I'm going to, I'm gonna put some lint on it because I don't want it to stick to this glass too well. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of lint on that and I'm going to lay this down on my surface. Now the difference, I'm not going to use etching cream, but to do etching, you just you just apply etching cream over this. And that's crooked. I need to stand up over the top of it. So the process is the same, except I use etching cream instead of the chalk paste that I'm going to use. So I've got that pushed down, and I've pushed out all the bubbles, and I'm actually going to chalk it in um, shimmer silver, kind of a tone on tone. I think the silver will still show up, even though it's on a silver background, but it'll just be something that looks very delicate. So this is our chalk paste which is chalk in paste form, and this is shimmer silver, so it's it's got some sparkles in it. So I'm just gonna take a squeegee, and I'm going to apply that paste over the screen. Now I did this with, when I did the etching, I did this with etching cream but then I left it on for a while. With this, I'm not gonna leave it on. I'm gonna pull that off and it's going to leave my chalk paste. Woo! It's gonna leave my chalk paste on the surface. Are we overhead? Yes. Okay, so let's peel that up. Okay, ooh, can you see that? Tip it toward you just a little. There you go. Okay. So it's it's monotone. It's silver on silver, but it it's just enough and it actually kind of you kind of actually get the mirror effect on that. Back to the front. Okay. So, so an added way to decorate. Now I think that your lace project. blue lid is going to look great on there. So, yes, I think so. <laughs> but I could see you could you could stick a one of these candles in there. You could probably do a real candle. I'd be a little careful though, because the spray paint probably has some chemical. You might not want actual fire in there. Now I'm going to clean this up real quick so you can see how I do it. Our transfers are reusable, meant to be reused, ten to twelve times, but you need to clean them up. So I'm going to not take the vinegar water, although it probably wouldn't hurt. I'm just gonna take regular water and I'm going to spray it on here. I'm going to, I'm gonna start with a, what are these called? Swedish dishcloth or a paper towel. And I'm just gonna start wiping that paste off. This won't completely get it all off, but it gets a good start. Now I'm gonna switch over to my board eraser which is a lot like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals. And I'm just going to pull all the paste off the front, turn it over, 
give it another spray. I'm also going to remove any of that lint that I originally put on. And once my screen is clean, no paste left in it, I'm just going to let it air dry. I'm going to put it back on the backer sheet and back in its little plastic home. And it's ready to use again over and over. So that's how simple they are. Again, if you are interested in a link to the Krylon spray paint that I got from Amazon, um, type the word mercury. You'll, you'll get a link to this. You'll also get a link to the uh, chalk transfer I just used and the paste that I just used, if you're interested in, in any of that. <clears throat> so that's our project. And I'm going to just hit this with a dryer so I don't smudge it. So here's a sample, garage, a garage, grocery store trash to treasure. Here's the one we just did. And I this, this one I did, it's a little bit different. You can see I spray painted gold as a final layer. I didn't do the I didn't do the vinegar water on it. I just overhead. You were just saying you had gold, oh. and I was having you oh. go over so you could see. Okay, the, yeah. The top. So so you can see the difference. I I did a final coat of gold on that, so it, you can see it's a little bit different. It looks maybe a little more aged, but those are those two, and then here is my silver, my mercury glass pumpkin which I love that I gotta find a it it was just stowed away in our uh, china cabinet it's gonna find a place of honor in the fall and let's see here's the plate I did earlier so give you some ideas so that was our project for today a towards you a little bit towards towards me well everything towards you just a oh, little bit okay the jars are missing there you go there you go got the jars and just to just to acknowledge it, Arkansas from Vivian from Arkansas, Jean, Jeanette's Twin Creek Creation says hello. Oh well, hello. And M and C Treasures is there. Welcome, we sure we welcome them too. M or C, whoever is, whoever is. <laughs> well, she said she's going to catch a replay. Okay, so. good, good. So, anyway, these were our projects: <coughs> DIY faux mercury glass, super easy, not too expensive. Um, I think that, I think the bottle, the jar of, jar, the can of spray paint was $11 and it's kind of smallish, but you don't use very much. So you could do lots and lots of projects. So get yourself some glass and use your imagination and make yourself some mercury glass projects. And we would love to see you post it on our page or join our VIP group and post it there. It'd all be great. And we are just about out of time, so I hope you enjoy the next hostess on, or host on Craft Around the Clock. Thanks for letting me do this project a week, a week late. But anyway, thanks so much. Hope you'll follow our page and check out some of our other lives in the future. So thanks so much. <laughs>